Now let's create a blend tree. I'm going to right click anywhere inside of my animator. Um, let me create some room in here actually. Let's see here. Um, entry, idle, walk, and blend tree. So right click, create state, new blend tree. I'm going to select blend tree. I'm going to come over to the inspector and I'm going to change the name. We'll call this jump and fall. Okay. I'm going to move my any state down here and I'm going to create a transition from any state to jump and fall. I'm going to select my transition. We'll come over here to the conditionals. We'll select ground which is a boolean and we'll set this to false so from any state to jump and fall when ground is false meaning when there's no ground then let's set a transition from the blend tree to idle when ground is true. So when our character is not on the ground, it goes into the jump or fall state. When our character is on the ground, it goes into the idle state. Then from idle, we can actually go to our walk state. Now, I'm going to go ahead and arrange these so that I think they're it's a little less confusing. Let's go ahead and put this over here. We'll put this right here. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is double click on my jump and fall blend tree. And that actually opens up our blend tree. Okay, let's look at the inspector for our blend tree. Make sure blend tree is selected. In the inspector, make sure that it's one dimensional. So 1D, let's set the parameter to V speed, not speed, but V speed. Now we're gonna add each of our animations that we created for jump, okay? So I'm going to select add motion field and we'll do this seven times, two, three, Four, five, six, seven. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to take jump one and add that to the bottom. Okay, these are my animations and my assets again. I'm going to take jump two and add it to the next one, and we'll just move up the list like this. Be sure to only use the jump animations here, and be sure to put them in this order, with the first one at the bottom, okay? For now, I'll leave automatic thresholds, okay? Although I might change this a little bit. We'll see. For now, I think this is okay. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and see how we're doing now. And there we go. Our character is able to walk. When he's um, not moving, he's in his idle state. And when he jumps, he kind of leaps in the air, tilts his head back, and does his, does his jumping thing. Okay, so um, I'm not super happy with the jump, actually, but I think for demo purposes for now, that's just fine. And as we build up our game, we'll adjust all these parameters as we go and really get this dialed in.